You're welcome to Nationwide. This evening we have a mixed bag of stories for you from the southeast of the country. And we're coming to you from the picturesque coastal town of Dungarvan in County Waterford. This weekend, people from all over Ireland will converge on Dungarvan for the West Waterford Food Festival. It's in its sixth year now and it's going from strength to strength. And who better to tell us all about it than Paul Flynn, chef and owner of the Tannery Restaurant here in the town. Paul, six years, you must be doing something right. We must be doing something right. Well, it's down to a lot of hard work and enthusiasm by a lot of people. And I think that we're all proud to be from here, as indeed everybody is from their own region. But we're pushing it and we're really fighting for we're saying to people that this is a special place and you have to come and it's a fantastic place to come if you're interested in food. Give us a flavour, if you pardon the pun, Paul, of what people can expect this weekend. We have bus tours, uh, we have barbecues, we have picnics, we have foraging, we have talks. John and Sally McKenna will be down, Richard Corrigan is coming. We have famous UK chefs coming as well, which is really important to us. Between sort of indoors, outdoors, activities, lots of fun for the family. This is really an event for families as well. Well now, I have my little shopping bag here yeah. and um, we might as well go and do a little bit of shopping, will we? Let's do it. We'll start with the meat, Paul. We will. Joe Condon. Mary. Hi, Paul. Hi, Joe. Joe's here. Hail, rain or shine, That's it, Joe. Yeah, every Thursday, yeah. So every Thursday is festival day for you. It is basically, yeah, that's it. It's a great opportunity for us. As you can see, we're in a central location in Dungarvan, Gretton Square. Are people good to support the farmers' market? Oh, markets? there is. I mean, if you just look around you here today, like, you know, the, the people come out every Thursday, support the farmers' market, and, uh, you know, that's, the, the customers are a huge part of it for us, like, you know what I mean? Would you be here for the whole weekend this weekend? Oh, we'll really? be here for the whole weekend. We're looking forward to it. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's the culmination, really, like, you know what I mean, of what goes on here all, all year. Well, enjoy the weekend, Joe. I Thank you very, very much. Busy. Where are we going next now, Paul? Over to Siobhan Latouche. She's one of the originators of the market as well. Again, she's always here. Hail, rain or shine. Hi, Siobhan. Hi, Mary. Hello, Siobhan. Nice hey, to Paul, meet how you. Are you? I'm good, thanks Excellent. very much. All organic. All organic, yes. Everything. Is that important for you? Personally, it's very important. Yeah, it's, it's a really big deal. I have customers coming to me regularly that just want organic produce. It's, it's a way of life if it's however you want to shop. Mary, this is Michelle Dewan. Hello, Michelle. Yeah, hello. Foods. How are you? Foods. Is this all yours? Yes, this is all home produced at home. I have a B&B &B out the road, Barnaby Bridge B&B. They're very so well fed this. guests, are they? I hope so, Anya. What have you got? So I have a different selection of jams, chutneys, uh, preserves, soups, homemade soups, oh. tarts. I do ready prepared meals, um, quiches. It's very hard to walk past this stall, isn't it? Very so hard there's a to selection of it. scones there in jam or mm. a little bit of this. Can we have a little yeah, bit have taste? a walk away, yeah. Or this caramel squares. Oh, listen. <laughs> I'm half man, half jam. <laughs> oh no. That's um, lovely. Mm, it's a nice garden. Yeah, it's all the fruit is all locally sourced. Mm. What do you fancy for your tea? How about some eggs? I love eggs. Yeah. Free range it? eggs. Free range eggs. These are brilliant. This is Trevor. Hi, how are you? Hi, Hi Trevor. Nice how you. are you? Are you from around here? Yeah, we're from Ballamult, just south of the road, so we're here every week, so. It must be easy to sell eggs. Everybody yeah, eggs, we're very busy now, to be honest. And the locals are very good to support us, so yeah, no problem so far. And the free range, that's important for people? Yeah, it seems to be nowadays. Yeah, people are more aware of their food and where it's coming from, so yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm going to take a half dozen of those. Okay, no, Mary. How much are they? That's uh, 180, Mary, please. Oh my god, that's good. Job. Thank, Thank you. Paul, oh, the fish must be really good. Look at the length of that queue. It speaks for itself, and sometimes they, these boys are addressed with some cork. And sometimes there's a queue like this waiting for them even before they come. You'd recommend a hake? I would indeed, and it's very appropriate for Dungarvan. It used to be really big for hake in, in the past. And how would I cook it? Oh, I think just bake it, brush it with butter, uh, maybe a little bit of thyme or rosemary, and bake it in the oven. Okay, all right. So could yeah. I take that hake from you now? I really do apologise. Oh, I don't mean to be no skipping the queue. Anymore, like, you don't mind, no, do you? Bit of no. Well, that's that now, Paul. I'm very happy with my purchases. You're we all sorted. well at the weekend. You should. You've no excuse <laughs> not to, Mary. No. Is it difficult to get people, I'm just wondering, to uh, to come and spend a little bit extra 
at a market like this or at a festival? Well, the way that I look at this is it's an experience. You get to meet the people that actually grow your food, the producers and their characters. So come along, the festival is well underway. There's events tomorrow, Saturday, and equally Sunday is a, an amazing day. And you'll just have a brilliant time and bring all the family. Have a great weekend, Paul. Listen, thanks, thanks very a much, million. Thank, Thank you. you. Great, great to see you. Bye great bye. to see you. Thank you very much. Bye, bye, bye. now. Take care. Bye. With all the food bought, a person might be looking for something to wash it down. And hey presto, what have we found on the other side of the square from the market but the wine buff. Let's go in and see what they have. Hello Michael. Hello Mary, how are you? You're welcome. Thank you very much. First question I have to ask you is, okay. are you a wine buff? Uh, yes, I am a wine buff, yeah. Well you have a great display Thank here. Thank you very much. Yeah. And is it true that this is where people come for tickets for the various events and for you know finding out about the yeah I mean we're festival. we're delighted to be involved with the festival because we see what it does for the town show showcases Dungavan fantastically so when they asked us to be the ticket office we were delighted to do it. Well, from one festival to another, we're off now to Carlo, where recently the town welcomed thousands of visitors for the International Pan-Celtic Festival. And Alan McInerney went along to join in the fun. 